baka naglulita. And that's interesting because it's going to be Yawi on the Vanir. It's probably because hindi lang hero. Hindi ba naayos ito? Hindi, or, hindi, I mean, it's, ko, pro, it's probably mo, the most ideal. Hidal na ba ito? Ako, ako kasi support pa rin naman para sa mata ko talaga support si Lolita. Support talaga si Lolita. Support talaga Pero si Lolita. Pero hindi tank si Vanir. Oh, so, well, well, interestingly, well, tignan natin. Let's see, ah, multi-roll. Multi-roll is real. <laughs> multi-roll is real. Ito na yung sinasabi Yawi natin. Yawi on the Vanir. Be, Yawi on the Vanir. I just feel Hello. na baka, may, may mga times kasi na yung isang hero, Mm. Hindi mo lang talaga siya feel. Hindi nga talaga. And feeling ko, yun lang yung sinabi ni Yawi dito na. Ayaw ah, maglalita. Siguro yung sinabi uh-huh. niya na lang, parang, hindi ko feel yan masyado. Eh. Sige, sabi ni Chester ako na. Parang adjust na lang. Pero support is support. Support is support. Support is support. Exactly. So here we go, Blue Fire NXP Solid. Game 1, mga kaibigan. And nagkakabaliwan na agad. Sa draft pa lang. Akala ko nagkabali. Mm. So, eto, uh, there is actually a bit of a contest dito para sa side ng NXP Solid. If you think about it, MB and the others, and ito na nga sinasabi natin dito, Chu has free reign over that. Pero kung iisipin mo dito, merong away na nangyayari sa may gitna. They can actually go for this. And look at this, Thorn Rose to the dashes. Goodness gracious, blue fire dito. Very oh. aggressive. They punish yung ginawa ni Yawi. Interestingly enough, I think Yawi is, uh, he, was, he had the right idea. To clear it up, to clear up the wave and try to push back Blue Fire. Pero nagawa nila ng paraan. And I think medyo malaking pagkakaan yun. Deficit yun. Pero nakabalik naman si Yawi. And I think they wanna go for more. Mm -hmm. And look at this Chu actually getting a lot of damage there. Pero tignan natin kung paano nila kukontrolin to. And they got yung purple buff. Hindi nakuha dito ni H2O. Pero they will get two kills in the process. Do you mm. think it's worth it? Was it worth it na ibigay ang dalawang kills para sa purple buff to deny H2O of that blue? I'm not sure. Mm. Actually, kasi H2O, especially since H2O got, I think, one kill over that, that's okay lang. Uh, I think babaga ng konti yung clear niya. Pero now, this might be a different story. Mm. I think NXP Soul actually was ahead because of that. Mm -hmm. Now, limbs dito. Flickering in dun sa may pader. Uh -huh. Medyo na, na medyo niyakap niya yung Realme dun. Yep. Parang damdam ko medyo niyakap niya yung Realme dun. Pero it's fine. Hindi naman siya tutumba <laughs> dun. And uh, the rotation coming up from Blue Fire. Eh medyo, uh, sabihin na lang natin, they're actually controlling the pacing of the game. Yep. Ngayon, NXP Solid, what do they do? Ano yung plano nila dito? Kasi si Rene J, maganda yung lane niya dito sa baba. He's actually controlling this matchup against Secret. Pero oh, another nga. punish na naman. Nako, napakalaking punish dun. Especially that, since that was Kripsu getting a kill. I think, as long as Blue Fire are controlling the waves, they don't care that they're losing the team fights. Gusto lang nila i-control yung wave. And bonus na lang siguro kung makapatay sila or hindi. Mm -hmm. And uh, si Rene J dito, ang ganda ng pwesto niya, he's getting yung information na kailangan niya dito. He, they go in. He actually gets it. Chu actually gets that. Tingnan natin dito kung paano nila paparusahan to. And Chang'o will actually go down at the hands of the Hayabusa. Tingnan natin kung lalaban pa sila dito. Secret will just go away. Hindi na nila pipilit yung issue doon, Rockhart. Palita ng palita na. I think it's difficult to say who's really ahead in this game even though looking at the map, they are going to go for limbs right away. The punish on that Ruby is so critical. Mm -hmm. At uh, nakuha pa rin ni Chu yung kanyang buff. Palita na and that is... The, the supports dito, medyo nagkakaroon ay, yung mga tanks, yung mga supports. Nagkakaroon sila ng mga oras na medyo talagang na-go-overextend sila. Uh -oh. They really want to do something. But ang pinaka naging problema, Rockheart, is they get caught off guard. Oh my God. Okay, pero ang maganda dito for Blue Fire is they still get that turtle buff, which denied from H2O means na hindi basta-basta mga burst down H2O ng mga target. Although, ang maganda mga H2O is he got the double buff mm -hmm. this time. So, meron ng malakas energy region. He could go for the bottom lane. They could actually go for the bottom lane. That is true. Pero dun sa may taas, nagkakaroon din ng onting, uh, not onte, pero a full-blown push on that side. Secret dito. Tatakbuhin niya na lang yan. He's not going to uh, risk that. Bibigay na lang niya. Kasi patas naman na eh. Nakuha na yung taas. So, might as well just give the bottom lane turret. Mm -hmm. Oh, MB on the back foot. Look at that. Kripsu force the flicker out. And they are still fighting over that orange buff. Talagang ayaw nilang ibigay. 
kay H2O yung resources na kailangan niya para umunlad. Right now, purple they, lang ang hawak niya. They know that they have to. Ito yung sinasabi natin eh. Kumbaga, kung gusto mong i-shut down yung mid lane, you mm -hmm. get all the buffs. Pero kasi ang nangyayari dito, Rockheart, for the side of NXP Solid, yung side lanes. Side lanes, Yung no? side lanes nila matibay. Tama. So that means, blue fire dito, yes, they're answering one thing. Pero you're not looking at two things na nandito sa may gilid, although there's another fight happening here. Ayaw talaga nila magbigay ng oras para huminga. Tama. I think what they're doing is they're trying to force MB on the top lane and Renegy on the bottom lane na umikot pa mid lane. Oh, pumasok dito and that is going to be the shadow kill and enough yung damage dito ng H2O. And ito na nga, sinasabi natin, he knows what to do at the right moments. H2O getting four kills to the red dito kahit walang blue buff. Yep, priority on to damage output. I mean, you don't need to get the buff all the time naman. As long as you can get in the position para makagaroon ng kill, okay lang yun. They're doing that right now at NXP waiting on the turtle as it spawns. Mm -hmm. So they actually try to go for this. Lancelot, si Chu, wala siya sa area. And he is actually going uh, to not be there pagkat retro dito na H2O. Pero nandiyan na din yung dragon. Let's see kung ano mangyayari. Look at that phantom execution. It will hit a lot of people. Rene J will be the next target here. Secret nandiyan sa may pinakalikod. Let's try to see kung ano bang mangyayari Secret. dito. And look at the region coming up from Rene J. Tignan pa natin. The Thorn Rose is there. The triangle motion. Pero sabi ni Secret dito, kakayanin ko pa to. But H2O has something in mind. Nakupo. Lumabas siya, pumasok siya. Tapos lumabas siya ulit. Ang daming beses pumasok doon ni H2O. Yeah, paulit-ulit. <laughs> I think mag-cooldown na yung ultimate niya sa duration ng team fight na yon sa sobrang tagal they can actually get back on the fight right away and with the backup of Puza Kel mapupuwer sa nila NXP pabalik actually hindi pa yata gusto pa nilang mapat round 3 bro <laughs> Round 3! Ako hindi pa ako tapos eh. Di ba ako pagod? Ako, parang ramdam oh. ko pwede pa eh. Round 2 kaya. I can do this all round day. Kaya. Parang may round 2 pa. May parang round 2 pa. Mamaya pa. Pangatlo na nga yun eh. Actually, med... Pangatlo oh, na actually, yun eh. Ano ba? Parang yun pa... Yun ba yung pangalawang full blown? Feeling ko eh. Oo eh. Halos eh. Oh, sige. Nakapag-ultimate na siya ng... <laughs> Tama yan. Grabe yun. Tuwing nag-cold down eh. No? I like it. I like the tempo that NXP is showing right now. Blue fire. Hirap na hirap mag-keep up. Ito naman si Limbs right now. Hindi din makabawas dito sa backline ng NXP. Kahit Ay, nang kitna na siya. And Chu dito, MB, getting caught out. Nandun siya may gitna, lumuhod siya, pero hindi enough yon. And here comes H2O. We see, gonna get a lot of these kills. Phantom execution. They will actually get Lancelot, and that is going to be a triple kill for H2O. Naikutan ng malupet ni H2O here. And I think hindi handa yung blue fires magpasok ng Hayabusa dun sa tower na yon. And that is why you pick hindi this up. Hindi pa tapos! Hindi pa tapos! Walang pagod, no? Walang pagod. He, he can do this all day. He can do this all day, <laughs> pero Gillette instant replay. Hashtag shame the day. What happened? Parang Rockheart. I think a um, big deal here is the, the AoE damage that was already set up by MB. Sobrang laking bagay when he was going for that top lane. Sabi ni MB, hindi ko kailangan i-take down itong mga to, pero alam kong papasok na si H2O. Okay, I just need to hold on for a bit, and then i-clean up to ng kampi ko. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be the Numenon Blast. May stun niya pa dito ni Sambes si Chu, pero Chester, is this worth it? That is the question, H2O going in. Tignan mo yung Micho Shawak dito, nagkakabatuhan. H2O in front of four people. That is not where you want to be kung ikaw si H2O. Pero si MB dito sabi niya, babawi kita, pero hindi lang ako makakadive. Kasi masyadong malalim yun. Medyo negative na yun. Negative na. Pagka magandang kalalim, negative na yun. Pero I think at this point, hindi... Hindi ko alam bakit, ah, pero ba hindi pa rin ganun kalaki yung lamang sa gold? I think 1k gold is, considering ang daming nawasak sa blue fire, feeling ko ang daming beses nilang natalo sa teamfight. Mm -hmm. I wonder why, why that is, uh, right? I, ramdam ko kasi dito yung NXP Solid, ni-invade talaga nila. Sinusubukan nila invade yung blue fire dito. Kung baga, yung ginagawa kay H2O kanina na kinukuha sila sila naman. Sila, sila naman. Oh. So that only means, yung mga monsters mo hindi mo nagagalaw. Kasi sa totoo lang, yung blue fire dito, parang nagkaroon na sila ng time na hindi na sila nakakapasok dun sa base ng kabila. Ah, sa, sa jungle true. pala, that's hindi sa base. True. So wala na, hindi mo na kaya madena yan itong Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. And now, because of that, yung Hayabusa, kaya nang mag full steam ahead. Kung, bag, kung baga, kaya nang nang dumarating direction ng laban mm -hmm. because the energy just keeps regenerating dahil lagi nga siyang may buff. Mm -hmm. And uh, alam mo si MB dito, sabihin na lang natin, 316 ang kanyang galawan. But still, that is going to be the Festival of Blood. 
a lot of region coming out for his side. Mahirap Limbs si dito at a 0-4-5. Pero kasi as long as naitatank talaga ni Limbs yung mga damage output na ginagawa dito ng LSP Solid, is doing his job. H2O going in. And that is the power of Ahayabusa. Ang dali niyang mag push ng turrets, pero that is going to be the Lancet not going down. Tingnan mo yung secret dito, isang dragon na lumilipad, nag-drawing ako niyan, pero muntik na ako, masisante. Renny J on the other hand, so pumaharap dito sa lima. Yep. De, actually, hindi lima, tatlo na lang pala. Tatlo na lang, tatlo ah, na pero... lang at that point, pero si Renny J gusto pa rin. Si Renny J gusto pa rin. Makunat, Korya. Makunat si Kuya Renny J. And now, the rest of NXP, hindi naman nabawasan, kaya kaya lumaban sa gitna. Wow! They actually go in nung nahatak, sabi niya, sige, sama kami. Sama kami. Bro, sama Thank kami you. dyan. Bro, sama kami dyan, ha? Libre flicker. <laughs> Bro, sama Libre kami dyan. flicker in, man. Blue Fire dito, they look good dun sa early stages ng laro. Pag-usapan natin yung Blue Fire dito, nakikipag-trade sila, eh. Paulit-ulit. Paulit-ulit, nagagawa nila ng paraan, yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi sila malamangan ng todo dito ng NXP Solid. But the thing is, Yes, nakokontrol mo si H2O, but the time na nakuha ni H2O yung Shadow Kill, gumawa na si H2O ng mga paraan para makakuha siya ng sarili niyang mga kills. Makonvert niya yung Shadow Kill na yon na every time nag-up yun, may kill siya nakukuha. And hinahanap niya lagi si Kripso. And once Kripso goes down, actually malaking bawas din ng Blue Fire ang nawawala. Mm -hmm. If mapapansin mo, that's been happening and secret naman, hindi din makapagtagal sa gitna ng labanan. Dahil kayang-kaya siya ng damage output ni Yawi and ni MB. Mm. So, right now, Blue Fire, do you have what it takes? That is the question. Secret dito. Tignan natin kung paano niya haharapan dito yung NXP Solid. Feeling ko, si, si uh, Secret dito yung napakalaking, ano eh, napakalaking, may napakalaking role. Kasi kailangan niya gamitin yung dragon. Yung dragon mm -hmm. na hahawi sa lahat. Tama. Pero ang problema, yung dragon, ang lambot ngayon. Pansin mo? <laughs> Wag mo sabihin sa akin. <laughs> hindi kasi ano eh. Yung, yung bawas, hindi siya matangke. Usually yung pag dra dragon form, di ba? Hindi kaya ang tumag... Oh, ang unat yan. Mm. Pero kanina nang lambot dahil kay H2O and kay Yaoi. Mm -hmm. Grabe talaga Alam yung mo, ano. Alam mo, na-shadow kill din siya ni H2O eh. Yes, yun, yun nga yun. Yun yung isa mga sobra. problema. Kung baga, nagagawa naman ni Secret yung trabaho niya. Nasa Asin front. Oo. Oh, oh. But, right now, bakit nga ba nagkakaroon ng onting problema dito yung side ng Blue Fire? I mean, hindi na lang onti pala ito eh. Malaking problema to on their side and they actually get that pull on Chester. Pero they did not convert that into a kill. I think yung frontline nila hirap na hirap din sa damage output ni Yawi dito sa Valir. Uh, I think kanina parang kayang pumasok ni Chu pero pinupushback siya lagi nitong si Yawi. Mm. I think naka... 2 or kay Limbs or kay Secret. Mm. And they're just ignoring Fuzokan altogether. And look at H2O look going demo. for another shadow kill. Luminon Blast on two. The Luminon Blast ka na. Binuhangin ka pa. Welcome to the beach. Welcome to the Welcome beach. Welcome to the beach, Blue Fire. Naku and po. this might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Tignan natin dito kung paano yung death toll ni so He doesn't have enough damage for that. MB dito just clearing up the wave. Walang minions. Part 3. Yep, it's time, I think. And this time, meron ng backup from the top lane and XP. Closes this out against Blue Fire 1-0 on the first game for the